What's up, family? Y'all know I don't really care for this bird face motherfucker right here or his bullshit ass cars, but uh, let's see what's going on on the border. How open it really is. Yeah. So here, so we, here are, we are at, at Eagle Pass, uh, and we're going to be uh, meeting with uh, uh, the sort of the, sort of major, 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 the major officials. Uh, 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 and the uh, law enforcement are responsible for the water, and um, uh, and just hear it directly from them and see it, see exactly what's going on uh, for yourself. So uh, with that, let's. Yeah. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm Tony Gonzalez. I'm the uh, local congressman here in the district. My district is 823 miles of the southern border, places like Eagle Pass, El Paso, Uvalde, Del Rio. Uh, we've been at the epicenter of this border crisis. What I really like to share is, is uh, a lot of my sheriffs and, uh, and local elected officials are being forgotten. Their stories aren't getting out. Uh, some stories are, but a lot of stories aren't. The first person we, we'd, I'd like to hear from is uh, Randy Brown, who is the sheriff of Medina County. County. It's about an hour away from about 100 miles away from here, away from here. and, uh, Randy's, and uh, Randy's behind us now. Randy, here, Randy, and uh, just uh, the, the question I have is: is uh, what, what's happening in your county? This is 100 yeah, miles and, away. And just imagine, like you're just, you're just talking to America here, and people just want to understand exactly what's going on, but assume that people do not know what's going on. Well, you got to go back some time, and whenever the open border policies from the White House kind of got thrown out there. We've been overrun. How long so, was that? How long ago was that? What year was that? Well, two years ago. Two years ago. We're on our third year. We've been battling it for two years. Two years. Okay. And, uh, okay. So, so, so you're saying there's an open, been an open border policy essentially since for the past two years? It's an invitation. An, an, an invitation. That's how I read it. That's how okay. it was told from the, from the White House. So okay. They don't, have a clue. they don't have a clue what's going on here, I don't think. Because okay. if they did, maybe they would care. Maybe they would. How does, how does, how does, how does the train impact you? Because the trains have been a big story. There's a train just over here. This is kind of where it starts, Eli. Okay. Where you see, you know, all these thousands of people on a train. This is where they're coming through, but it doesn't end here. It just starts here. Yeah. Medina County is where they're going to make it to the big cities. Like two, two major rail lines coming okay. through my county. And on those illegal rides, they actually control the trains because they know how to crank down the brake on the car. So okay. when it passes a heat sensor. The conductor has to stop the train when you just get off the people come to get them and all the stolen vehicles are stealing from all over the country. Nearly every one of them is in a stolen vehicle. Okay. So, so then we get involved and then they're trespassing on private property. Okay. Uh, and when you do get behind the road, they run the fences, they run over equipment. The irrigation stuff is important to the farmers. They run over their equipment, they tear it up. We tear up vehicles trying to hold the line. We're trying to hold the line 100 miles away because the line is not getting held. It's not that complicated to close the border. It really is. And that's the aggravating part. I'm going to give you a sure okay. tell you the same thing. All right. All right. Um, well, and just, just to, uh, again, just assume that the, you know, this is a, it's really just for the general public. And so we want to just frame the situation. Because uh, not everyone knows, like, magnitude and, you know, like, is this uh, normal or is, is it, like, so so just, if you could just frame the situation for the general public, it would be helpful. What, 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 what terrifies me the most is we're seeing historic numbers, historic, 11,000 people coming over daily for the past week. Uh, here in Eagle Pass alone, 2,500 people, over 5,000 people in, in detention. But what worries me the most is this in, in many cases feels normal. The part that doesn't make it out on some of the news stuff is there is a golf course. We are literally standing in, in front of a golf course and you have people playing golf as if it is normal. To the right, you have people that are coming over illegally. I mean, it is it is upside down. And, and like Elon said earlier, I believe in, in legal immigration. I think uh, legal immigration is important. And what happens is when you grant people that have come over illegally these different opportunities, you completely undermine okay, the legal system. I, I think, you know, like the stuff you were talking about in the car, the yeah. magnitude of the situation. The magnitude of it, yeah. So it's like, like um, the, the fact that we are seeing all-time highs in yes. illegal prostitution, right, 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 it, that, and, and that, that that ramp is increasing. Yes. So the, the, these are really important points. Because the public isn't, isn't I think it's not, it's not necessarily clear to the public, uh, is, this, is this normal, or, 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 or are, we, you know, are we seeing an accelerating crisis? It's not getting better. 
it's getting worse. Last Friday was the was last Friday a week ago was a historic number, eleven thousand people that came home. Okay. Uh, and then on Monday that number increased. Today is Thursday, and that number increased. We're only going in the wrong direction. This is a week. What happens two weeks from now? Uh, it, it's the wrong way. Okay. okay. So, so basically, we're seeing uh, um, unprecedented the all-time highs. Yes. Um, and increase it. It's spreading. It's not in just one area. It's it's not just like it's just one city or one yes. town. And not even one state anymore. You know, it's not, we're talking about New York today, but Chicago, you're hearing it there. L.A., Denver. There's all these other places where it's just spreading. Just continues to get okay. bubbling up. And, and just to quantify it, uh, I think you said two thousand a day or something. Just just in this location. Just here. Yeah, just here. So that's like. Over seven hundred thousand a year, just in this one location. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, seven hundred thousand uh, so illegal immigrants a year, just in this one location. Just in this one location. Okay. Uh, El Paso, right now in El Paso. Just, right? Yeah. That, like, that's that's higher than the population of Wyoming. Uh, exactly. FYI. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Okay. That's just one location. What is the to what is the total number from all locations roughly? In the millions. I mean, it's it's so literally millions, 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 and those are just the folks that we know have engaged. What about all the others? What about okay, all so the others? Just, that's, that's just who was actually processed. Yes, the Godaways so, are the ones. So, so, yeah, so meaning that like the the actual number is much higher. Much higher. Okay, that's very. Okay, that's very important for people people to know. Yeah. Uh, that the actual number is much higher. Is it is it is it is, it, is official number something like two million or something? Or what, where, where is it? It varies and it depends on who you ask. But okay. I've seen it as high as two point six million, uh, and that number just every year for the past three years has almost doubled. You know, it was like one point one, doubling, it's year, after doubling year. year after year. It's compounding uh, year after year because because it's it's not just one part of the world either. It's all parts of the world that are coming. You yeah. know, yeah, I, th I think that's actually an important point to make because um, you know sometimes people think well, people just come from Mexico, but this is not the no, case. Not the um, case at all. The, 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 the reality is that um, it, this is an open border for all of Earth. All of Earth. Um, and just, you know, so there's roughly 350 million people in the U.S., but there's 8 billion people on Earth. Yes. This is an open border to 8 billion people. Yes. Exactly. And, and, and so, and in fact, I, I believe a, 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 a small minority, or it's a, minority, it's, it's, it's a small percentage that are actually coming from Mexico. Yeah. That are, that are Mexico. That's true. Yes. Okay. Now, Sheriff Sir Duchin, how many, how many, I mean, you, this is a, how, how close are you to the border? 60 miles. Um, 68 miles from 68 the border. 68 miles from the border. What type of nationalities are coming through your county? We're seeing anywhere from Honduras, El Salvador, uh, I believe um, Ecuador, Ecuador, stuff like that. It's pretty, much every, it's pretty much every country, well, right? Pretty much every country. Pretty much every country. Yeah. 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 It's, very rare that, it's very rare that we see anybody just from Mexico. Oh, it's actually rare. Oh, it's actually rare to see anyone from Mexico. And I'm 68 miles from I'm 80 miles south of here. Okay. How big is your workforce? How big is the sheriff's office? My patrol staff's only 16 strong. 16 total. Okay. So how many do you have on, on call one time? Maybe two at the most. Two, two law enforcement officers to tackle. I mean, some of these counties that, that I represent, they're size yeah. of states, and sure. they've got two or three people trying to tackle it all. This is where the local community just feel completely overwhelmed because Border Patrol agents used to be the, the front line, and now they're here. They're under the bridge. They're processing folks, so they're completely out of the game. So these law enforcement, the local law enforcement officers, are carrying all the weight. Okay. My county alone, okay. my county alone is 1,500 square miles. Right, so it's not, right. so it's not, that's not possible, really. It's very um, difficult to handle. Yeah, okay. Um, and, and so, and, and so uh, and, and just, it's worth going over a bunch of things that you mentioned to me, which is like, um, the, the, there's, there's, there's almost no repatriation. This is another thing that was I found surprising. Um, so, um, basically, one, once somebody gets in, they're, 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 they're in. Yes. That there's essentially no reason. If there's in theory repatriation, in theory flying back, um, and I believe you talked to the, the president of Guatemala and, 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 you know, said, and asked him, if, you know, would, 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 they, would they take people back? And he said, of course. Yes, I said, I'll uh, take every single one of them. Yeah, no problem. So, no problem. All you got to do is ask cool. us. Yeah, yeah. Ask us. Just call. The White House is just cool. Exactly. Okay. Every white, every white, <laughs> it seems like that's like a, not a difficult thing. Come on. Every white house is 
Okay. Whether it was Trump, whether it was Obama, whether it was Clinton, whether it was Bush, every single White House has had a border issue, and every single one has had, had that uh, handle it the same way. By essentially going, we can't let everybody in because it's going to overwhelm us. We're going to, you're going to abide by the laws, and if you don't qualify for asylum, we're going to send you back. And as soon as you start doing that, it alleviates the stress. This administration hasn't done that. Okay, so, um, and just um, so of the sort of two, roughly two, two and a half million uh, processed illegals, and then there's it's maybe as much as twice double that or something. I don't know. Not a waste. Yeah. Like, like four, four-ish million, maybe five million total uh, processed and, and unprocessed. How many of the four or five million? Uh, legal immigrants are sent back to their countries every year. I'll give you an example. Here in here in Del Rio, Del Rio sector is one of nine sectors. Okay? Uh, we're getting over twenty about twenty five hundred people coming over illegally a day, and we are we are repatriating or sending zero back. Zero. 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 No, zero, zero is a quite a small number. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. This just literally zero. So basically, there's no repatriation. What is happening is this is insane. What is happening is, at best, at best, they will send people to other parts of the border. That's not back to where they, the, the country of origin. That's the Laredo or El Paso. In worst case scenario, and I want to bring in the mayor here, the worst case scenario is where they're at. You bubble to a point where there's nowhere else to send them. So what you end up doing is you release them into the street. Imagine what that does to your local community. Uh, this is the, the, the mayor of Eagle Pass. Eagle Pass. Rolando Salinas, mayor of the city of Eagle Pass. And it's been a rough. Oh, nice town. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, just say why, in case people are wondering whether Eagle Pass is like, like, you know, like, a, like a, a run downtown. It's actually really clean and nice. Just FYI. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, we're a, a city of twenty thousand people, and we've had nineteen thousand. That's right. The the yeah, toy, maybe toy with the camera, I suppose. Eagle Pass is a city of twenty-eight thousand people. We've had over nineteen thousand people in the last about ten days come in. So we don't have the resources. Exactly. Like, wait, the more people. More people are coming in by far okay, than the, you know, than the I mean, it's exceeding the population of the town on a regular basis. Absolutely. We don't have the resources to yeah, control. you talk about the, the, the hospital? Absolutely. I think that's Absolutely. a piece that a lot of people are missing. Eagle Pass has one hospital. So you have thousands of people visiting this hospital. People are getting frustrated. They, the the safety is taking a toll. People can't get medical care. Our local constituents, because they're treating people that are coming in from other countries. It's yeah, just, there's only so many doctors. There's there's only only so many doctors. Only so much we could do. The thing is, they're coming in without consequence, and the word gets out back to the countries. Hey, come to the U.S. Come three will pass. Come one, come all kind of situation. And it's disappointing. That we don't have a, a reform where we can solve this issue. The other thing about this too, Elon, is this isn't. It should not be a partisan I issue. I get it. The yeah, politics yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's certainly a temptation to make it a partisan 100%. issue. Hundred percent. Yeah. But you know, th this is across the board. I don't care if you're an E or an R. If you vote, don't vote. Yeah. Urban America, rural, rural America. Everybody's impacted the same way. When a, when the crisis hits your town, it's like a hurricane. When a current hurricane hits you, everybody gets washed out, sure. and it's no different. So this is. I think there's an opportunity. Opportunity. We can, if we can, if we can message it in a matter, of, this is about solutions. Hey, I get the finger pointing. It's easy to see why we got here. It's like, how do we just get out of here? And I think there are some real, tangible solutions. Okay, so, uh, okay, so I, I guess like the first part of this video, and I'll take a minute to upload it once it's time, is just just to uh, frame the problem so yes. the, the American people understand the, the, the magnitude of the problem, how quickly it is growing, um, and that there is basically no solution currently being implemented. Yes. Um, yes. Okay, and and just to understand, like when you know you're telling me, like sometimes you know people coming through um, are you know they have gang tattoos and, oh, yeah. they, and they have the like the tear uh, you know uh, tattoo on the, on the part. Like I'm not sure, uh, maybe the, everyone knows what that what, it, what tattooing a tear on your on your head on, on your face means. I visited. I visited. <laughs> it's not good. I visited. It's, it's, it's not good. Just okay. non -stop. I visited the facility here in Eagle Pass on Monday, and there was a, there was a guy that had face and neck tattoos, hand tattoos. And he had teardrops. And a teardrop is, is when you kill somebody. when you kill someone, and then you wear it as like a as a badge as a badge of pride. You're like actually happy that you killed someone, and you want people to know it. Right. 
and, and, and when someone like that comes through and they say they're an asylum seeker, what, what do we do? So, so, so I'm in there and I, I asked I ask the, the, the Border Patrol chief. We're, we're talking about a serial, basically a serial murderer. Because he has multiple serial, serial, serial murderer and yes. proud of it. Yes. 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 This is not somebody you want maybe see. No, not at all. No. Uh, okay. And so when I asked the, the Border Patrol chief, I go, hey, well, what's up with this guy? Yeah. And he asked him in Spanish, he goes, hey, have you ever been arrested before? He goes, oh, of course not. And he's like, no, no, I've never been arrested. And so what the Border Patrol chief said, he goes, we do not have records from people from Venezuela. So we can't track, a, unless they were arrested in the United States, we really don't know who some of these actors are. Many people you'll see are fleeing poverty. I get that. Sure, sure, sure. But there are others that are fleeing, you know, incarceration. Yes, <laughs> we, we are basically, it seems like the place where you can go to get away from the wall. Yes. Um, and, uh, and, yeah. Uh, so, okay, well, I think with, with that, um, oh, and I, I see this, this sort of a, you know, sort of a, kind of a group over there that's, 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 that's coming in. So, uh, it's, you know, um, So, you know, this sort of, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, I switch it around. Well, I can't really switch around, so, anyway, that's like, I don't know if you can sort of see that group, but that's a group there. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem that Biden has caused. But as I said, I don't really like this bird faced motherfucker. I just wanted to know what type of content he was uh he was recording. Be back with more.